this year I've been learning a lot about language. Just traveling so much, you know? It's crazy how much power is in the ability to, to read or to communicate. I've just had this weird understanding of language my whole life. I had this like crazy racist encounter the other day. I was in Montreal, Canada. I think I had just finished the show. I came outside to get on the bus, actually. I saw some fans in front. There were a bunch of fans around the bus. My boy Nate Fox was standing next to me, and this old African dude just walked straight into his back. I watched him walk directly into his back. And you could just see like this intensity in his eyes. I'm like, bro, you need to chill out. So I, you know what I'm saying? I put my hand on his chest. Dude freaked out. He, he got super upset. And he starts calling me a nigga over and over again. He was like, he was like no, nigga, you stupid nigga. You are standing in the fucking sidewalk. You better not get smart. I'm like, bro, just chill out. He was like, no, I was fucking born here. I know who I am. I am African. You are nigga. You stupid nigga. Come over here. You are American. He said American at one point. Only once, though. But the point that he was trying to prove, we were black Americans, which he equated with niggas, which he equated with stupid niggas. You know what I'm saying? It was just this belittling thing that I hadn't been exposed to because I hadn't traveled. But it also made me just think about what he thinks of the word nigga. Like what everyone thinks of the word nigga. What everybody thinks about niggas in America. It's all based off of language and, and perception. It just made me think about how much power I have in everything that I say and how many different people are listening, how many different interpretations are coming off of everything that I say the more I build a fan base.